Veins are responsible for the return of blood from the extremities back to the heart. There are two basic types of veins in our legs. The deep veins, which run next to muscles, carry 90% of all blood return from the legs to the heart. The superficial veins return the remaining 10% of blood from the leg. The superficial veins are often visible, especially when diseased. Malfunctioning superficial veins often cause pain, heaviness, skin changes, and even skin ulcerations. Connecting the deep and the superficial veins are a third type of vein, the perforator veins. Incompetent perforators can also cause significant complications, including skin ulcerations. This condition, known as superficial venous reflux disease, can result in significant disability. Risk factors that can contribute to venous insufficiency include genetics, gender, obesity, age, pregnancy, trauma, and prolonged periods of standing. In healthy veins, one-way valves prevent blood from pooling and flowing backwards. In diseased veins, however, the valves do not close properly and allow blood to pool in the extremity. This pooling of blood, also referred to as reflux, causes pain, heaviness, bulging veins, skin changes, superficial blood clots, and occasionally ulcerations in the leg. If your diseased varicose veins are symptomatic, most insurance companies will cover treatment. Medically significant symptoms include pain, heaviness, superficial blood clots, skin changes, leg swelling, or skin ulceration. Often insurance companies require the use of conservative measures before they will authorize treatment. Conservative measures may include the use of prescription strength compression stockings for up to six months. Further conservative actions may include leg elevation and the use of mild pain medication. Once these requirements have been met, we will request insurance authorization for the treatment plan.